Hi guys, do you know these videos with animated infographics showing as race bars? Did you know that you can do this inside Power BI? Today, I'll show you how to develop cool animated Power BI dashboard. Not only with race bars, but also we'll create our own customized infographics and animate them. We will develop a dashboard that is the story of CO2 emissions across the globe over the years, and we will utilize animated visuals that we will develop from scratch. You can actually create a cool animated video using this dashboard. Just let it start and record your screen. So keep watching to learn how to develop this kind of dashboards in step-by-step -step tutorial. But before you do that, make sure to subscribe to this channel to stay updated with cool and amazing business intelligence projects. Now, grab a cup of coffee, sit back and watch. Okay guys, we want to start by getting the countries, the top 10 countries with most CO2 emissions. According to the world meter, we can find those 10 countries. So I placed them in an Excel sheet showing the country name and an extra column that shows a color for each of the countries. We're gonna use it in the race bars and other formatting. Let's copy it, go to Power BI, from home, enter data and paste. Let's rename the columns, country and color, and the table to country. Next, we'll use Kaggle website to get a data set for the CO2 emissions. So let's just download this data set. And if you open the CSV file, you can see the country and the year and the CO2 emissions over the years. So this is our first data set. Let's go to Power BI now and from get data, CSV or text and load it and go to transform data. So this is the data loaded from the CSV file showing a lot of countries and regions in the world and years starting from 1960. So I did a couple of transformations here for the data. I filtered the countries for the top 10 countries and also included an extra option for the entire world and this is available in the CSV file. Also I changed the type of the year to whole number and changed the column name of the CO2 emissions to emission and finally I filtered the year column I kept it from 1990 to 2015. For the next data set we're gonna use the word bank also, I'll leave a link in the description. We want to get the data for the energy consumption and the percentage of renewable energy consumed as a percent from the total consumption. Just to show you an example how you can download the data from here, you need first to select the countries you want. Let's select USA as an example and then select the series you want. We'll take final energy consumption and the renewable energy share. And for the time, we will select all of them so you can see the table filter for us so you can download it as CSV file now let's go to Power BI, get data, text or CSV and select the energy consumption database transform data I did a few transformations here I filtered the rows I removed the blanks and changed the types to numbers and finally renamed the column, simplified the name a little bit now from the tables we have, we want to create year table. To do this, let's reference the energy consumption query here and rename it to year. Let's go to the column time, right click and remove all other columns. Let's rename it to year and let's remove duplicated rows. And now we can close and apply. Let's go to relationships. We can see the year connected to the one of the table. It's connected to the other table. and we, the country also connected to one table, let's connect it also to the CO2 emissions. And now we have our data model ready. Okay guys, now let's create a race bar that's showing how the CO2 emissions in the top 10 countries changing over time. Let's first import the visual. From get more visuals, we search for animated and you can find this race bar. Let's just download this visual click on it let's resize it a little bit and from the country table we feed the country to the name and the color to color and the emission to value 
and the year to period. Now from filter, let's remove the blank and we can see the powers are showing now. Now let's format this visual. Let's go to general, change the title, CO2 emissions, top 10 countries. Change the text color and the background color and from effect turn off the background and show borders, grounded corners and shadows in the center. Let's resize it a little bit. And now we have the rest bars which were ready. For the next visual we want to try to show the overall CO2 emissions over years in animated way using line dot chart. So from get more visuals, we search for line dot, find the visual, let's select it and click add. Let's click on it, just resize it a bit and feed the year to the date and the emissions to the value. Now from visual, turn off the animation and go to dot and change the maximum size to 10 just to make it more visible and go to line now change the fill color and the thickness you can see it's not connected properly because we need to sort the visual by the year column Go to opacity and set it to 50% and let's change the title to overall CO2 emissions. Changing the title color and the background color and from general effect turn off the background and add borders with rounded corners and shadows in the center. Now we have those two animated visuals showing in the dashboard we want to add a slicer to synchronize them together and to do this we need to import a new visual let's go to get more visuals and search again for animate and we can find this slicer i have it already imported let's select it feed the year to it format it a bit just remove the headers and the title and from effect we turn off the background let's change also the colors of the controls resize it and move it on the top of the line chart visual now we need to make sure that this slicer and the bars raise visual are synchronized in duration and to do this we can change the duration from here we can see that both of them have 1000 milliseconds Let's test it now, we can see both visuals are synchronized, the dots are moving year by year and the bars are moving year by year together. And this concludes the line dot visual. Now we'll get to the interesting part. We want to create our own infographic designs and upload them to Power PI and also animate them. And to do this we'll use one special visual called Pure Viz. So let's Go to get more visuals and search for pure viz. So this is the visual, let's add it. Okay, let's click on it and start feed the feeds for it. From the country, we'll use the country column and the color in the categories. And for the values, we'll use emission. Let's convert it to average. Renewable energy, also converted to average. And finally, total energy and converted to average. Let's just rename them without the average. Let's maximize the view. You can see here you have the option to load your own design. And we need to create a design in SVG format. And to do this, we'll use PowerPoint. So I designed in PowerPoint a simple infographic card. It has three sections, total energy consumption, CO2 consumption, and renewable energy consumption. Renewable energy has both total value and percentage of total consumption. You can see 
The design is very simple. I use icon for the meter and you can see I use a rectangle shape as a frame and inside it another filled rectangle and I did the same for the emissions and for the renewable energy I have a space here I want to use it to show a country map and to do this we'll use this website I'll leave a link for you in the description too so you can simply search for SVG files from this website for example here I search for USA map let's find one simple map here okay we can use this one we need to make sure once you download it you use SVG format because this will allow us to format it and change the color let's open it this is how it looks like now let's go to PowerPoint insert picture and select the picture we just downloaded let's move it here let's crop it a little bit just to make it inside the card and if you right click on this you can see that you can change the fill color because it's SVG format but we'll do the coloring inside 4BI let's just select a gray color and right click send it to back to show the percentage on top of it now we copy this slide and we repeat the process for the top three countries with high co2 emissions i will also have another card here that shows just the year and a number that will customize it and use it in the line dot chart now all we need to do is export those in svg format so file save as you need to make sure to select the svg format For this slide we name it USA and we just save it and we also export the other three slides. Let's load it now to Power BI as you can see here it requests SVG format. Let's start by China and you can see that the design is loaded. We notice here the bars are shifted a little bit but don't worry about it we can just fix it here. Let's select this bar. and go to properties custom transform and we shift it in the y direction by one it came to the right place let's repeat this for the other bar and move it in the x direction by one now let's start assigning the numbers for those placeholders you have the option here to select one column from the ones load it to this visual let's select the energy consumption click apply and add the units now this is the free option it assigns the number however it doesn't have any animation capabilities but if you want it to be animated we need to go to the animation tab you can see a diamond showing next to those options that means this is only for paid version even that it shows it's a paid feature however it will work in the Power BI desktop but if you decide to upload it to the service then you need to buy the license but the license for this visual is very cheap I think it's two pound per user per year and just to see the full potential of this visual let's just go with the animation and let's select typing animation assign the field to it click apply and again add the units let's apply so now if we filter this visual for China you can see how the number is animated let's reduce the text size to 11 for example and you can see it's working let's repeat the same process for the CO2 emissions assign the emission and add the units and reduce the size of the text 
Now for the percentage of renewable energy, we'll use another type of animation. We'll use the up down counter. And again, we assign the value from the renewable energy share column. Click OK and you can see how and you can see how the number is increasing like counting. Let's add the percentage to this number. Now we have one more number we want to show is the total renewable energy consumed out of the total energy and for that we can create a calculated column by multiplying the total energy by the percentage of renewable energy share. Now let's feed this column to this visual. And now we can assign it to the placeholder number. Next we want to animate the gauge showing in this bar. And to do this we'll create a couple of calculated columns. So let's create the first column. This column will calculate the energy consumption as percentage from the maximum energy used during this year in one country and to do this we need to calculate the maximum energy consumption for that year and then divide the energy consumption for the selected country by the maximum value the next column will create will allow us to get the value for the column we just created the consumption percentage for the previous year So if we look in the table, we can see those two columns. We have the consumption showing as a percentage of the maximum consumption during that year. And the other column showing the previous value. And we need to create the same two columns for CO2 emissions. Now let's feed those four columns to the visual and convert them to average and rename them. Now the idea is we want to animate this gauge by showing the change between the previous year and current year. So it can give us smooth and continuous change. So let's assign the scale, the first one, to the consumption percentage previous. and transform to to the current consumption percentage and you need to make sure that the origin of scale starts from zero in the X direction now we need to repeat the same thing for the CO2 emissions Now let's format the colors for the country map. Let's select from format gradient. Now from 0% to the renewable energy share column. We'll set one range, the green range. And this presents how much renewable energy percentage is used. And for the second one, we'll start from the same column renewable energy share to 100% and for color we'll use the color column apply here repeat for the last one now if you look at the map you can see 23% of the map showing green which represents the renewable energy share well, now let's go back Let's format the visual a little bit from general. Turn on the title. And for the title, we'll use conditional formatting with the field value of the country. Click OK. Let's change the text color. And the background color, we'll use the same color of the country. Let's 
let's select the color column click ok let's underline it and from effect let's turn off the background and show borders with rounded corners and shadows in the center also for the shadows color we'll use the country color too okay let's resize it a little bit let's test it now you can see how the gauge is filling smoothly and the numbers are showing in nice animated way let's change the fill color for the emissions gauge make it lighter a little bit you can do this directly here now it looks better now let's copy this visual to use it for the other two countries let's copy this and move it here another one move it to the end and we change the filter one to United States and one for India and you can see how the colors change automatically and from edit you can see that we have option to change the image let's load the USA card Here it shows a message if you want to keep the same configuration in the existing layer. Let's click yes and we can see it picked up almost all the configuration except for two numbers. Let's just reconfigure them. and here we go we have the USA card is ready and we need to repeat the same process for India too let's test it now everything looks good it works as expected now we have one more simple infographic card to show the values for the line dot chart and for this we again use the same visual pure base and let's just resize it place it in the chart and feed to it the year in the category and the emissions in the value field and let's maximize it and upload the CO2 card let's assign the numbers for the year we use up down counter and we select the year column let's apply and for the value we select animation typing animation and we select the co2 emission column let's apply and let's filter this visual we want to show the emissions across the entire world so let's filter it only for the world and let's change the font size the font color and for the year let's move it a little bit let's make it on the top and closer to the other number and you can see the card comes with its own background but you can select this box and from visibility you select custom and set it to zero and this will hide it let's go back and we can also from general turn off the background of the visual and we can see now it looks better let's test it if you notice here the speed is very fast and the counter isn't reaching the final value so we need to slow it down a little bit let's go to visual animation settings and set it to 2000 milliseconds and don't also forget to change it for the race bars visual now let's test again We can see now it, it 
works better as expected. And now we have the dashboard finalized and ready. As you saw, we created a cool animated dashboard that provides insights about the CO2 emissions across the globe over the years. We developed our own infographics in PowerPoint from scratch, then we used Power BI to animate them using pure based visual. If you found the content of this video useful, please leave a comment. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe to this channel. Now, it's your turn to develop your own animated Power BI dashboard. To get you started, I left a link for you in the description with the Power BI file and the material we covered in this episode. In the next part of this project, I'll show you advanced techniques to make this dashboard more flexible, more interactive, and more informative. Stay tuned to the next episode to find out more. Finally, I will leave you with a demo of the dashboard we created during this video. Peace.